Okay, in today's lesson we're going to talk about adding and subtracting real numbers. And of course you've been doing addition and subtraction since uh, as far back as you can remember, but now we're going to start dealing with negative numbers and things are going to look a little bit different. But really, it's no different than any of the math you've done before, we just need to learn a few rules. Uh, let me write a few things down first that will help us as we go. Uh, some of this is going to be obvious. Um, I want you to write these down and remember them. When you add a positive number to a positive number, you're always going to get a positive number. That's the universal truth. Positive plus positive is positive. If you add, uh, let me write it over here, a negative number to a negative number, you're always going to get a negative number. So, so far it's, it's not too terribly hard to uh, to understand, okay? Positive, positive gives you positive, negative, negative gives you negative. These are if you add these numbers together. Um, the only time it becomes a little bit, you know, where you have to use a few brain cells is if you add a positive to a negative number. Um, then the resulting sign can either be positive or negative, and whichever sign you put in front is going to depend on what you actually add here. It's going to depend on which one's bigger. Basically, if if the positive number is bigger, the final result's going to be positive. If the negative number is bigger, the final result's going to be negative. Uh, we're going to see this time and time again in the problems. I just wanted to write that down. It'll help us as we go. So let's go through some, some simple baby problems here. 4 plus 8 equals 12. Okay, that is, I think you guys will all agree that that is correct. Positive plus positive gives me positive, and all I've done is add the absolute values of the numbers, uh, which is positive, and it gives me 12. No problem. Now let's take something uh, just a hair different. Minus 3, also known as negative 3, plus negative 7, what is that going to equal? Well, I'm adding two things together. One of them is negative. The other one's negative. The answer, according to this, is going to be negative. Um, so it's going to be a negative number. And what do you actually put here? Well, you add the absolute values here. So it's 3 plus 7 is 10. So the actual answer is 10. Um, there's a bunch of theory you can go into figuring out how to, how to do all this and why it's this way. But in a nutshell, if this is your number line, like this, okay, and this is zero, and these are all negative numbers. You've got, you know, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, negative six, negative seven, negative eight, negative nine, negative ten. So this is negative ten over here. And this is negative three, negative four, negative five, negative six, negative seven. This is negative three, okay, right there. You're already at negative 3, and I'm adding to it 7 more negative numbers, which means I'm going to be going left. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and that's how you end up at negative 10. Um, that's kind of a graphical representation, but I really think that you should just kind of dispense with that and just try to do a bunch of problems here, and you'll understand as we go. Negative plus negative gives me negative. That's pretty much the simple way to say it. Another way to write this, you'll see it as we go along, but I want to make you aware of it. You don't need these parentheses explicitly. Uh, you can write this as negative 3. When you have plus a negative number, it's the same thing as a ne minus, minus that number. So this is the exact same thing. Negative 3 plus a negative 7 is the same as negative 3 minus 7. When you have plus negative like that, it's just the same thing as a minus sign. And that makes sense because here I'm adding a negative number. Adding a negative number is pretty much the same thing as subtraction. So all this negative positive business is just addition and subtraction, you know, which is the same thing you've been dealing with all your life.